Millions of defective circuit breakers are in electric panels all across the country. And they're in homes between 25 and 65 years old. Investigator Kurt Ludlow is here tonight to show you what to look for. Kurt? Well, these are the breakers. They're called stab lock, and they're made by Federal Pacific. I know how dangerous they can be. This electric panel belongs to me. This is what happens when too much electric current is fed to a defective circuit breaker. In slow motion, sparks, smoke, flame, heat, everything necessary to start a fire. Okay, I'm gonna run downstairs and shut the main breaker off downstairs. Until recently, that circuit breaker was attached to this electric panel on the second floor of my house. Okay, we're off. Steve Turner is the electrician I hired to troubleshoot that tripping breaker, and I recorded Steve with my cell phone. As soon as he identified the panel, he told me it needed to be replaced. What makes these Federal Pacific bad? Well, sometimes breakers don't trip when they're when the circuit when the branch circuit is overloaded. Federal Pacific stab lock electric panels were installed in homes nationwide from the mid 50s to the 1980s. A New Jersey court found that Federal Pacific Electric committed testing fraud, claiming circuit breakers met underwriters laboratory standards when they knew they were defective. Even though the Consumer Product Safety Commission investigated in 1983, the agency failed to issue a recall, saying it didn't have the money to do so. Federal Pacific has been out of business for many years, and electricians nationwide have been dealing with the problem ever since. Worst case scenario is having a fire. Electrician Bob Smith says Federal Pacific stab lock panels and breakers are a fire hazard. Not all of the breakers are bad. Some of them will do their job. But it's just that one, if you have that one, it could be that instance between fire or not. The Ohio Fire Marshal doesn't know how many fires are started by Federal Pacific panels because it doesn't track them. But this fire near Cincinnati was blamed on a defective FPE panel, leaving this home with a quarter of a million dollars in damage. So how common are these Federal Pacific electric panels? Well, we chose this neighborhood all the houses were built in the late 70s and had planned to go door to door until we found one. What do you suppose happened at the very first house? It's Federal Pacific Electric Company from Newark, New Jersey. Kurt, I didn't know anything about Federal Pacific until two years ago when we were having a new heat pump and furnace put in. Roy Jaycock says he was warned and an article from Angie's List confirmed the dangers. The tests have proven that one in four stab lock breakers will be defective. He says replacing his panel has been on his to-do list. It cost me some sleepless nights. It's a, a fire risk. You worry about that. I worried too and wanted to know how dangerous my panel really was. So once Steve removed it, we test circuit breakers for a living. We took it to Power Solutions Group, a company that tests and maintains large power electrical systems, sometimes using these enormous circuit breakers on high voltage transmission lines. They protect. Uh, the lines, the overhead lines, so if there is a fault or a failure or an overload, uh, these devices will disconnect power to cities. My panel is nothing like those. It actually puts the breaker through real life conditions. But the test is the same. So we simulate an overload on the breaker to see if it can handle it. My panel failed the tests over and over and over again. It actually threw quite a, quite a few sparks and wasn't able to carry that higher current that would be indicative of a fault. A fault that he says could have led to a fire. Chillingly, they found previous burn marks inside my panel wall. It's a whole box. As for Roy Jaycox, he says it's time to do what he should have done two years ago. I really need the next phone call I make should be to an electrician to have that box replaced. Yeah, this is serious. Now, some banks won't give you a mortgage if they know you have one of these panels, and most insurance companies won't insure your home either. So what you need to look for, Federal Pacific on the box, and then these signature red strips that are actually on the breakers themselves, that's the big clue that you've got one of these Federal Pacific stab lock panels. Yeah. Wow. You get a home inspection now uh, prior to getting a mortgage, and that's the sort of thing they'll pick up on. But if you've been in your house for 20, 30, 40 years, you know. Well, that's the thing. People usually don't realize they have it until there's a problem. Right. And, and your problem case, was your thankfully, breaker tripping. Yeah. We caught it, and... Uh, and we got it out of there. All right. Wow. All Happy right. ending for you. I yes, hope for others too. All yeah, let's all let's go hope. check those.